Hey everybody, this video will be especially interesting for all the Reaper users out there. I will be covering the amazing script by NVK tools called Auto Doppler. It has been recently updated to version 2.0 and besides many cool functions, it also features a tight integration with our new Doppler Pro plugin. Let's dive into the content. But besides the Auto Doppler script, for every Reaper user out there that is seriously doing sound design, I'd recommend all the scripts by NVK tools. Especially the combination of the NVK Create script and the Auto Doppler script is extremely powerful. So let's assume you have the Auto Doppler script and at best also the NVK Create script. I brought up the NVK Create script and switched to multi-layer mode. I kind of leave the default parameters as they are. We want 10 variations, 6 items, 2.5 seconds length, pitch variation of 6 is good, offset, and the chance of a reverse sound file by 30%. We want to random the files, trim, and let's execute this setting. So I brought down the master volumes a little and let's listen what we got here. So that's a very random mixture of sounds, that's almost what we want. But I structured the wish effects pool here in a way that we can have certain categories randomized per track. Now you can see I renamed the track to certain categories. I have some Kuma sound effects, a bus layer, a Hydra synth layer, explosion, sub kick and some randomized mixed sound effects all from this pool I have in the database. And be besides the category name, you see uh, the parameters, length 4, pitch variation 6 and reverse chance 25. You can read up on how to precisely do this on the documentation of the NVK script in the replay section. So what, what this allows us to do is basically you, you can uh, select all, all the clips you want to randomize and with a shortcut Control command r you can randomize through um, the clips on each track and it will automatically pick regions of the sound files in the desired category as you have specified it in your track name. So now let us listen to a few of these uh, random sound combinations. I mean, this is magic already. The script analyzes the peak position in the sound files from your database and aligns them for all these tracks at the same peak moment, randomly reverses some of the sound effects, et voila, you have kind of a whoosh or a stinger sound effect. Now let's finally hop to the auto Doppler script. For this, you have to select the main channel where all the sounds go through. And while this track is selected, you bring up the auto Doppler script. So the script already comes with its own Doppler sound effect, but let's switch to Doppler Pro. So if you have Doppler Pro installed, you will see that on this track Doppler Pro is inserted in your plugin chain. And we included a particular preset for this in the, in the default preset menu, which we call Default Reaper, which gives you just a straight line at the bottom, so you can hit all the possible distance values with your script from 0 to 100 meters distance. By enabling the Auto Doppler script and the Doppler Pro plugin, you already have the precise Doppler automation for the combined range of these edited clips here. And of course, the Auto Doppler script makes use of the precise timing possibilities of Doppler Pro. So, as it is syncing the peak moments of the sound files in each track, it is automating the correct duration for the item range and setting the Doppler peak to the loudest moment within that range. First of all, let's uh, switch to flexible speed, where you'll see if I switch to flexible speed here, also on the plugin interface, it switches to flexible speed. Now I have all the options for the start speed, center speed and end speed, the curvature of the speed transition and the listener distance. Uh, for these kinds of sound effects, I would switch off the floor reflections and also the panning, just independently process the left and right channel with the same Doppler effect for maximum oomph. 
If we want to hear more of the impact, I would bring down the attenuation a little and bring down the speed for the center position. So we get a cleaner impact. The feature I really love in this new 2.0 version is that you can randomize certain parameters now. You will see how random values are picked within the defined random range here. And now let's listen how different randomizations sound. Well, that's awesome. And now you can imagine you have an intense, super fun playground here. With just two commands, you can randomize your clip items and then randomize your Doppler Pro settings and come up with all sorts of variations. I could basically do this for hours. Let's listen to a few examples. That's already really powerful. And imagine, this was just using the two scripts, Doppler Pro and a bunch of sound effects. No additional processing going on yet, just the Doppler Pro plugin. For the final step of this video, and the final spicing for these whoosh impacts, I added effects to the individual tracks. And again, just select the clips, Control, Command, R, then globally randomizing the Doppler parameters, Et voilà, we have a new set of whoosh impacts. Okay, I hope you liked this video. Go to NVK Tools, check out his scripts and go to our Doppler Pro product page and check out Doppler Pro, where we also have a 14 days free trial. All the links are down in the description and if you like these kind of videos, please leave a thumbs up. Okay, cheers, bye bye.